So today, MMH, the home of Rock Radio, we are at the Home Metal Workshop and Symposium, and I am interviewing Tom, who does, what can I say, some amazing work. How's it going? All right, thank you. Yeah. So, do you want to talk us through this amazing print you've got here? Um, yeah, so this is a, a banner, which is, in a way, um, most of my work's painting, and I, in a way, I think of this as a painting, even though there's lots of different things on it, some fan screen prints stitched on uh, this is painted and there's some bleach in the background and I guess it comes from the idea of linking up the kind of customization that goes in metal culture that people might do to their clothing and linking that up with uh, the world of painting but also the kind of tradition of making banners which might come through like trades unions and things like that. So how long have you been doing this sort of work? Um, probably since about well I first made banners in about 2006 um, but the work that's specifically around metal culture and battle jackets since uh, 2012. Yeah. So you physically hand paint, hand stitch, everything from scratch by hand? Um, on, so, so yeah this is a combination so some of these are, are existing things that weren't made by me but um, from t-shirts and things like that um, but the other patches on there are my my paintings so there's a mixture yeah. Did you want to go through some of the designs on it? I can see you've got um, a clash stone there. Yeah, yeah. Um, some tour dates. That's from a Mastodon tour shirt. Um, this is uh, this is from Alkaline Trio. Um, see, obviously, you got the yeah the master mo himself. Mo motorhead, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the some of these up here are for um, they're not actually bands. They're things that I've created as part of the artwork. Yeah, it's amazing with the always as well. Mm. So. Do you travel far with this? Do you, is it like an exhibition you're travelling with? Or? Um, so I've, the, sh the work's been shown quite recently in, in America, in LA, um, and I've done some work with uh, kind of bikers out there. and um, So, yeah, it gets shown around in different places. So you're getting known. So do you, do you, actually, um, do you actually sell, do you actually um, go out painting people's jackets or do you sell them yourself? Uh, I, haven't, I haven't done that yet. But, uh, yeah, the, all the work's on my website where people can have a look and inquire if they're interested. But I'm doing, I'm also making paintings of people's jackets, so paintings on paper, um, which are like representations of jackets. And I'm working with um, different people so I, I work from an image of their jacket and then um, make a painting of that so that's quite collaborative because I'm, I'm kind of working with people all around the world really well, what's the name of your website so it's um tomcardwell.uk i'm definitely going to be checking that out this mm. looks work is nice and you did the other back the backdrop yeah for, for, yeah, as for well. uh, the black september falls performance yeah yeah so um yeah got a whole range of banners which are all on the site do you get many bands inquiring as well? If you had, um, so I've I have worked with bands in the past. I've been asked to do um, album artwork and things like that from time to time. Not really recently, actually, but a while back. Um, that's something I'm I'm interested in that side of the collaboration kind of going forward. I think, yeah. So when did it all come about? Like, what what inspired you to start? Um, so I guess growing up, I was I used to make jackets. Um, so that was in a way I think of that as when I learned to paint you know painting um, designs on my jackets and, and things like that when I couldn't buy the patches you know when I was really young um, and then I fed that interest in customization but more recently I'd been making paintings of suits of armor back in about 2010 and um, I started thinking about how battle jackets are a bit like a sort of armor and so it developed from there, and then it became a project which was my PhD, which I finished two years ago. Must be. Where did you complete that? Uh, where? Yeah. Yeah. Um, in London, in at London. Chelsea College of Arts. Yeah. It's just fascinating some of the work that you've been doing. Mm. So, have you got many places booked after here, or you've been following? Have you been working most of the exhibition? Um, yeah. So I've been speaking about the project today, and there's some work up upstairs, the smaller paintings. Um, so the, um, the next step for me really is uh, starting to put all of this into a book, which I've just been working out the details of with a publisher. But over about the next year, I'm going to be finalising that and that will have all the paintings in it, um, as well as my theoretical research around battle jackets and why they're important. So that's my big goal next, I suppose. I'm going to have to give us a heads up one, I think. Yeah, I'm yeah. I'm definitely going to want to be having a look at that. Yeah, about a year down the line, I should think. But yeah, I'll let you know. No, that's brilliant. Thank you for taking your time to have a chat with us. Oh, it's and a pleasure. He works amazing, so thank you. Thank you.